Hello, and welcome to Final Show Films. I'm John, the executive producer here, and I've got a few pre-show notes for you. First, a reminder. All of the content we produce is available on our website at finalshowfilms.com, as well as youtube.com slash sensaku, sensaku.podbean.com, twitch.tv slash sensaku, and on iTunes. We are only able to do the things we do thanks to the kind support of our Patreon donors. We give a special shout out to our $25 tier supporters, Antitonic and Cat Waterflame. If you'd like to support us that way, be sure to check it out. Secondly, a thank you to the folks over at 411mania.com. They produce articles and content related to wrestling, MMA, movies, music, and gaming. Go check them out. We appreciate their support as well. And lastly, be sure to subscribe, comment, and rate, if possible, wherever you listen to or watch our content. It helps us know what you like, what you don't like, and helps us make more content. Feedback is always appreciated. With all that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy. And we're live! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shadows of the Valley, Episode 9, Turbulence. I'm John, the storyteller for the evening, and with me today is Jeremy... Hi, I'm Jeremy. I am playing Hisoka, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, Dragon Clan investigator person. It's okay. By the end of the season, you'll have the name down. <laughs> I mean, I knew the first name. I was trying to do the full name, and it <laughs> fucked me up. I should just have gone with the first name. And Aaron. Hello, I'm Aaron. I'll be playing Yase Hinata, the Lion Clan Shugenja. And Jack. Hi everybody, I'm Jack, and I'm playing Nakano Hayato, the Scorpion Clan Ninja Infiltrator. And William. Hi, I'm William, and I'm playing Renakane, the Crab Clan Berserker. And when last we left our samurai warriors... Um, the... <laughs> <laughs> Can Fuck you tell I've played? Seriously? Can you tell I've played a lot of Tecmo Koei games? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> Uh, they were uh, seeking the assistance of the Unicorn Clan uh, in their fight for uh, the freedom of the valley, uh, which was de the Unicorn Clan deemed one of the bit more stout, staunch allies of the Dragon Clan, um, primarily because they're weird and so are the Dragon Clan, so they kind of get uh. along in that uh, Circle of Exiles aspect. Um when they arrived at the more militaristic oriented city of, or outside the more militaristic oriented town of Shinooka they were met by the captain of the guard Moto Mitsuo uh, who approached them on horseback questioning who they were and why they were there uh, before being informed that uh, the shadow does not the shadow is not a threat just to the dragon clan but also to the lands around Shinooka and that is where we pick back up so, assuming the group of you aren't looking to fight the cavalry, nope. um, then you Probably will likely not. be following them back to town. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, after a few minutes, uh, they lead you back into town, uh, Mitsuo getting off of her horse and, and letting the rest of the, uh, again, purple-clad uh, armored samurai uh, lead it away. Um, she sort of removes her helmet, um, and this sort of long black hair spills out from underneath it, and just as a refresher, black hair, brown eyes, very f average features, not really to stand out about her, um, wearing decorated purple armor, purple and black armor with sort of white fur, uh, around the gloves and boots, um, with uh, katana and wakazashi on her hip, and a spear that she had been riding with as well. Uh, she indicates towards the center of town, where there is a slightly larger uh, castle structure um, in the middle of it. <clears throat> well then, if you're wishing to speak with our magistrate, we'll have to take you to the fort. Uh, looking at the group... Are all of you wishing to come, or just you looking at Hisoka? Uh, Hayato oh. will step forward and just step up. Not say anything, but just be right behind, uh, probably to the left of Hisoka, in a very sort of, I'll be coming along sort of way. All of us, yes. 
Very well. Uh, when we get to the castle, our guards will take your weapons, but they will be returned upon your leaving. Of course. Uh, and she leads you up to the fort of Shinoka. It's not a very large, ca like the the the. It's not nearly as large as, say, the the castle of Kisakijo, um, which is a large castle, which is then also sort of has fortifications around it. Um, this is more like just the castle part shrunk down. Um, and as you approach coming up this hill, you, you sort of realize it's on, it's on a hill. This whole city, the whole town seems to be built around this hill that the castle is sitting upon, which gives the castle good ample vantage point from around the land. Uh, and as you go up, you all sort of just, your eyes sort of being guided as they tend to be, look out to the west. Um, and for... M some of you, this would be your first time... Actually, for all of you except for Akane, this would be your first time seeing... Hisoka, you've seen Shadowlands Taint on a much smaller level. Right. Um, as all of you look out to the west, you see... The sun is I overhead. face first into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is overhead, but the western lands are in shadow. Um, almost as if there were cloud cover... And it, like, like, with a very hard line where the cloud cover begins. Um, as if whatever, as if the land itself is repelling the light of the sun. Um, and at this hard line, what you can see beyond it mostly is dead grass and twisted trees, almost like sort of a haunted swamp feel. Um, which, Akane, you've seen before beyond the wall to the south. Um, the Shadowlands stretch off to the lands, off into the lands of the west for some ways beyond the wall, but this sort of site is something you don't see very often this far north. <laughs> yeah. So, suppress, uh, f tries and probably somewhat fails to suppress an involuntary shudder. Give me a... Uh... What would the appropriate skill be? Uh, meditation roll. Meditation? All right. Well, let's see how this goes. Uh... Eh. Could be worse. Uh, no, you, you, you managed to maintain your calm. Okay. Um... <clears throat> yeah. and you all continue up into the castle uh, where just inside the courtyard of the castle you're approached by more purple armored guards uh, Mitsuo looks back and sort of indicates with her spear to them for your, for your benefit uh, Hayato turns over his all the weapons <laughs> except the Kusarigama it's slightly hidden, but he honestly wants to see if they notice it. Give me a... Give me a sleight of hand check. Ooh. And remember, you have... Know her weapons. You have a bu and you, you have a bonus for that Kusari Gama, I believe. Right, I think it's a plus five. Doop to do <laughs> that's a no, that's a 14. <laughs> yep. Let's see what they roll. Actually, no, it's, isn't it, isn't it like also like, pl like the Kusargama itself also gives you a bonus? Yeah, I think it was a plus five. Oh no, it was a plus five to the TN for somebody else to notice it. Yeah, for somebody else to notice it, which effectively right, yeah. is a plus five to your roll. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So I rolled a nine, so that makes it a 14. It 14 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see what they notice. They do not see it. Uh, okay. So yeah, they take your weapons. All right. You yep. to... he, he will voluntarily then hand them the Kazarigama afterwards. Because they didn't notice. Out. Right, because they didn't notice, but he just wanted to see if they would automatically or not. <laughs> so you hand all your weapons over, mm. uh, and Mitsuo leads you in. <laughs> kind of, it's just like, uh, uh, Nodachi... Katana, Katana, 
<laughs> Wakazashi. Wakazashi. Machete. <laughs> <laughs> Which the 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 individual that takes it is uh, a uh, a blonde haired individual, uh, which is strange to most of you because blonde is not a normal hair color for this region. Um, sort of a a blonde haired, very tall, very muscular, f- apparently female uh, individual uh, who just sort of takes the machete off you without any sort of like problem and she 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 gives her a nod and just be careful with that it's important you know it's you notice they have uh this one uh, a couple of these guards have strange Pato sticks his head it's in all my stuff is important too so you know um <laughs> he not that will delicately hand over the magic sword and a stick <laughs> Because she doesn't have much in the way. Of hey, I'm I'm playing a mantis right now. <laughs> um, you notice that a couple of the guards up here have strange weaponry. Uh, in addition to the scimitar that you've seen on a couple of the other uh, cavalry members, um, this the 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 blonde one in particular has a large double edged weapon. Um, it's as big as your machete, uh, Akane, but it's more leaf blade shape rather than back sword like most weapons are so it's a great sword yeah for the players it's a great sword for the characters <laughs> that's a weird look that's some weird thing. shit man yep. yeah uh and you're all led inside you, uh mitsuo stands outside of a rice paper door for a few minutes in silence um seemingly waiting for a signal to enter uh, so you guys do have a couple of moments if you'd like to look around, talk with some, uh, talk with her, or amongst yourselves. Yeah, uh, Hayato would like to look around and just sort of see what the general deportment of more or less the foot soldiers or whoever the guards are around. Sure. Like, are we on a state of high alert? Are we just normal guardy defensive? Yeah, or what? yeah. Give me a. Um... Uh, investigation roll. 39. Jesus. Yeah, no, the guards are on high alert. Okay. Um, it seems like the, like the, the, the issue with the Shadowlands being as evident as they are is not something anybody seems to be taking lightly. Um, the guards are on high alert. Mitsuo is on high alert. Um, everyone around here is very... At any point in time, I might need to cut down the person standing next to me, sort of feel. Oh, okay. So, so ten- tensions are high, to say the least. Yes. <laughs> There's also sort of a bit of um. You you've experienced sort of wartime, uh, and and that feeling that gets sort of in the air itself, that level of tension. This is something similar to that, just sort of in the air. Okay. It feels like the wall. Not quite as as potent as the wall is, but like the wall. Yeah. Storms are brewing. <laughs> Shit's going down. Okay. Anyone else? Oh, uh, melee or ranged weapons, or mix of both? Both. Mm-hmm. You see, you can see people patrolling the wall of the castle with air, with you know Yachty or with mm-hmm. not Yachty uh, Q. Um, yep. We see any black powder? <laughs> no black powder. No. Is the unicorn the only one that use it? <laughs> nope. Not currently. You imagine that wouldn't be out on display. <laughs> yeah, because the rest of the empire doesn't like it. Yeah. Scorpions don't use black powder. Nope. Like smoke I mean, they, they they do, but not in not in the same way. They don't use right. muskets. Mm-hmm. Like the unicorn right. use muskets oh, yeah, and things like that. Nobunaga right. Oda would be a unicorn. Is what we're saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. He loved his muskets. <laughs> Anyone else doing anything? Why you wait? Uh, just generally keeping an uh, keeping a sort of general observational eye. Yeah. Not on anything particular, just sort of overall. Okay. I'm I know just... that's uh, that's so that's so helpful. <laughs> Nata's just sort of keeping her usual. I see demeanor. Yep. Um, not 
not particularly thrown by the presence of clearly Gaijin unusual stuff. Okay. And Akane? Um, Akane is more at ease here than she was with the crane by a large margin. <laughs> <laughs> Most of you are. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it's it's largely a case of Okay, I'm back in this this is where I'm supposed to be. This like this isn't the wall, but it's it's where I as a crab clan samurai belong, somewhere where the Shadowlands is encroaching and when and where warriors who don't care about the niceties are here to stop it. Yep. And so she's very much just kind of walking with purpose as sort of here I am back on the battlefield. All right. So, after a few minutes of this sort of tense silence, uh, the door slides open and Mitsuo leads you in. Inside, you see a sort of a semicircle of <coughs> older individuals, um, male and female, uh, all of them gray in the hair. Um, some of them more smooth in the face than others, seeming to have grayed early, either from responsibility or threat of violence, one of the two. <laughs> Or both. In particular, one of them that looks to be the oldest, the oldest woman there, uh, sort of, sort of looks at the group of you and stands. Uh, Mitsuo bows and steps off to the side. Greetings, travelers. I am Utaku Ren, leader of this particular group and council of this town. And who might you be? Uh, hello, uh, I am Kisaki Hisoka. Uh, these are, and I will introduce everybody in turn. Do, 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 do. Yep. And what brings you to Shinaoka? Uh, we are... looking for allies in order to deal with a particular problem that has popped up. Um, a individual um, who has was at one point one of our heroes who is now very much the opposite. Um, and sort of give them the 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 because it's Hisoka, absolute, no quarters cut, no deception whatsoever. Recounting of the 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 the, the Kyrie Akujin encounter yeah. issue issue if, as a whole. Right? And if there seems to be any breaks in the storytelling, Hayato chimes in with a little with the occasional. Verbal flourish, shall we say. Uh, but always I, confirming whatever Hisoka is saying. Yep. Are you trying to relay to Hisoka some sort of, this is how you're supposed to do it? Not particularly. <laughs> no, he's he's just trying to play out the mantis stereotype of embellishment. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so... As you finish your story, bring it to a conclusion. Um, mm -hmm. There's just sort of this stillness on the face of Utaku Ren. You are the leader of this group, she says, looking at Hisoka. I am in. I am in charge of this particular mission. Yes. Walk with me. At this point, she walks out, walk, just stands up, walks over to a window, opens it, and dies out. <laughs> no. She does She does tell you to walk with her. Okay. Uh, and moves to a side door and opens it. The rest of you, please remain here. Hayato looks around for snacks. There are none. Uh, she leads you through the side door, assuming you follow. 
and through a couple of corridors until you're out on the battlements of the castle. Uh, and you have a very clear view now of the sort of the soldiers on the left and right who are patrolling the walls, keeping an eye to the west and, of course, to the western sky and darkness. Uh, she sort of rests her hands, clasps her hands and rests them on the uh, sort of ridge of the battlements and waits until you are up yes. by her side. So. Oh, yeah. Darkness encroaches the land of the dragon, then. It does. Pains me to say we face a very similar threat to your own. How similar? Well. <laughs> Do you also have, a, have a, a former hero coming back from the Shadowlands as... Actually, yes. And threatening to take over every... <laughs> he stops. <laughs> Motoro Butara was a great leader of men and one of our more renowned cavalry commanders whose shade, it appears has taken the title Akujin and harasses our forces to the west. We have a pair of Akujin in two different zones. Call me, call me presumptuous, but I suspect this is not a coincidence. It may very well not be. That being said, we would be able to lend you assistance in your valley, but we face not a problem of military might, but a problem of political designation. The head of our family to the north does not see this as an issue that requires further reinforcements, nor the expenditure of our sacred relics. Does this person not understand exactly what is happening? They understand. They simply feel that Shinoolka's forces are, as they stand, powerful enough to handle it. And we cannot adequately argue contrary without, well... Devastation? Yes. Without the loss of many good cavalrymen and women, we would not be able to prove that we require the reinforcements we request. And we are not a land of courtiers. There is no one here that speaks well on the political front. Is there anything that we can do to help convince of that? Oh. Perhaps. If you could find a way to convince the rest of our clan to reinforce this position, we would be willing to provide you a unit of cavalry to assist you. I see. Know that our cavalry are well versed in fighting the creatures of shadow. Yes. As we have been doing so for some time now. As to the hows and whys, I trust you'll be able to come up with that. We are at our wit's end on our own part. I'll certainly endeavor to. The Council of Shinooka is available to you should you require any further information. And should you have a plan 
You need merely bring it before us to have it implemented. Provided it's a sound one. Of course. Well. I appreciate your candor. I have grown somewhat tired of the relentless circle talk of our kin. I understand. It is not something I have a talent for. If you wish, rooms can be provided for you and your group here in the castle, or you can that would be retire to town. That, no? that would be most appreciated, no. yes. You will understand if we keep your weapons in our armory until such time as you leave or require them. Of course. Very well. Then you may return to your fellows and discuss. Thank you. She leads you all back, or she leads you back to the other the rest of the group. Mm -hmm. And as you walk kind of in, Moto Mitsuo is the captain of our guard. She will be available to you should you require a guide in the city or around these premises. Mitsuo sort of nods. Yeah. And you're dismissed. Right. Thank you. Let's find somewhere to talk. Mitsuo will lead you to rooms that are in the midst of being set aside for you. You see there are uh, sort of chambermaids uh, moving things out of them so that you might have room to place your own belongings. Okay. Um, and Mitsuo will lead you in there and then take her leave. So... <clears throat> it would appear that Kariakujin is not the only of his kind. You're muted, Aaron. Of course. Hmm. There are other lost pursuing the same end? There is at least one. One that is Herring Unicorn. And what do the unicorn ask that we do about it? Hmm. Uh, convince... <laughs> <laughs> convince um, their leader to, to to that this is an actual serious issue so they will reinforce this area so we can get a cavalry unit. Do, you have, problem. do we have access to a wheelbarrow and a holocaust cloak? <laughs> <laughs> I am a terrible person. Arashi, I apologize for nothing. Uh, Arashi oh, Arashi pulls a holocaust cloak out of his coat. <laughs> Why didn't you mention it? Just one of our assets. Well, if it's so nice, let me keep it. <laughs> uh, so we will so. have to impress upon a different city the reality of the threat that faces Shinooka. Yes. That needs to be the case. Have the unicorn delineated what their current interactions with their Akujin have been thus far? No. Um, it would have been good to know. Uh, Is there anything we do Just that know? they do not... Their... Um, it does not consider it a significant enough problem so either it has the, their their Akujin has not um with their skills on as flagrant a display as ours did or they're just not worried about it well uh, you 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 do you were told that the indication seemed to be that they think the forces at Shinooka are enough yes. to handle it. Yes, that yeah. was. Yeah. Well, 
as far as our potential is concerned, I would say that having individuals of an honorable reputation who have first-hand experience with Anakujin might bear some weight One would if help. we were to go to this other city and provide testimony as far as what we have experienced in the valley and impress upon them the likelihood that they face something of an equivalent threat. Do Alternatively, we know anything of this particular Akujin? Uh, ours was sort of a household name, so to speak. Not so. What was the name? Uh, Moto Nobutada. Moto, actually, Nobutada. Yeah, Moto Moto Nobutada. Probably not. But could I get like a heraldry roll sure. to see if I know anything about? <laughs> sure, give me sixteen. A I mean, sixteen. If he mentions the name, I'd like to make a lore unicorn roll. Do you mention the name out loud, Hisoka, or are you waiting to see what you know first? I'm waiting to see what I know first. Uh, with the 16, you know the Moto family. You don't necessarily know, know Nobutada himself, but the Moto family uh, a, a, a exemplify basically every negative stereotype the Unicorn Clan has. Um, they uh, sweet. They have they they are the most Gaijin of the of the uh, Unicorn Clan. They have the most Gaijin in their ranks and they have the most Gaijin blood and those of them that are not necessarily strictly speaking Gaijin. Um, they are boisterous and brusque. Uh, depending on their circumstances, they rarely fit in well with the samurai. But they are also the warrior clan. They are the cavalry. Like, the, Moto, the Motobushi are the Unicorn's cavalry. They are both the spear and sword of the unicorn. They also make really shitty phones. Well, that's Motorola. <laughs> and Motorola <laughs> has not been born yet. <laughs> and if any player character playing all five R joins the unicorn clan and makes Motorola, I will personally <laughs> choke you out. <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly, if I, if I, if that like, sounds like, as up my secondary character sheet. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, that sounds aspirational to me. Hon honestly, if Renekane died, I would I would have to make Moto Nobunaga, who is just a gun obsessed unicorn. <laughs> you know, you know the you know the the Family Guy uh, bit where Stewie flies to Hollywood to slap uh, uh, um, Will Ferrell in the face. It'll be that <laughs> sequence of events. Do you really have to fly to get to William's house? No, but I will, just to make a point. <laughs> see, this this really see you I would not have done so before now. <laughs> now I feel like it is my obligation when Hisoka eventually dies in a horrible <laughs> screaming bloody mess. To make Motorola. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I will. I will provide the name. Um, Motorola. Is there any role I can make given my connections to the Moto family? Let me refresh That's myself right. on weren't your you, connections you, to the Motoclan. As the GM forgets who, like, my back's... The... I mean, to be fair, you yeah. were, like, wedded out to, like, 9,000 people. But only people. one of them has a name. Only one of no, the people it's fair. my backstory is actually a named character. It's fair. It's just I read this backstory 15 years ago. <laughs> um, but with, with the name mentioned, may I make a unicorn lore roll? Yes. Okay. Eleven. I know about as much as he does. <laughs> uh, so yes, you can make a um, you can make a trained lore role, Hinata, because you oh. were married to a moto, or you were engaged to a moto. Engaged. Never mind. Six. 
you may have heard the name in passing, but not one that rings a bell. Uh, Kane, same. Like, you may have heard the name in passing, but... Is it fair to say I'm familiar with the Moto family? Yes. You, you, you're you oh. familiar with the Moto family as general... And as you, and you would recall, much similar to the, the, Ka- the Kairai uh, individual was well-known specifically within the 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 monks mm-hmm. not within the That's clan as a large so yeah. while this moto may be a known figure it's likely only within the cavalry or the the moto cavalry so hayato slips back into his mantis persona all right so here's my idea we go over to whatever city this is called and ren sama challenges one of their good, but maybe not their best, or maybe their best, whichever, uh, fighters to a duel. And after Ren beats the shit out of them, uh, she then tells them, I did the same thing to an Akujin, and he blocked me barehanded. I, with the greatest possible respect... I'll point out that what I do is not dueling. Son, perhaps... That's why I didn't say duel. I said... But. You did say duel. Oh, well, I meant to say fight. <laughs> Perhaps Kakita-san might be able to impress such a message. Less lethally? <laughs> this is not a judgment upon your skills, Ren-san, simply upon your specialty. I kill, th- I kill things, I'm well aware. <laughs> Ider- Ider's like, I kill things too. <laughs> yes, but you kill them in a socially acceptable way. <laughs> she will actually just say that entirely monotone. Arashi, yes, my, so my style, the... my style of combat is not exactly conducive to making someone a friend. We're not trying to make them friends. We're trying to get a point across. Uh, Arashi leaning against the far wall. Why don't we just kill a couple Shadowland creatures and take their corpses to their leaders? The Shadowlands creatures, no, the Shadowlands creatures like maintain a corpse, or do they rapidly? Yeah. Decay? No, they maintain a corpse, a foul, disease-ridden corpse that taints people who come near them, but a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, well, that's the reason why. Uh, because yeah, that's why. I, that's why I, you I, burn them. I don't. I don't know that we have enough jade to carry a corpse there without exposing everyone we pass by to the taint. Is the problem? Hmm. Fair enough. We need to encase the body in jade, basically. I regret I mean, to report I that have... my magics are not quite up to the task of confining a Shadowlands creature for extended periods. I have a really bad idea mm. please tell me it involves inviting whatever city this is their council like on a hunt and we accidentally manage to lead them into a shadowlands ambush i mean i was that said out loud yes this is <laughs> no talk, bro <laughs> no arashi goes uh, suzume on arashi's shoulder i bet your plan isn't worse than that I, I I love I love oh, that I love it that is Mantis, not worse than that. I love that Mantis Hayato is just Jack. You're welcome. So with a twenty-seven, Hinata man- maintains a reasonably reasonably <laughs> passive expression, as this is suggested. <laughs> just the slightest glance of disapproval. <laughs> yeah, no. Hayato winks at Soka is staring. <laughs> No, that's not my plan. Um, Excuse but, my interruption. Um, Please continue. D- 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 <laughs> that's, that's okay. Um, no, so... <coughs> I have a concern. And my concern <laughs> is that we would be, in order to make our argument, providing them with experience of a very... Uh, uh, of a different equity. One, and that would be fuel for a potential, well, your, your problem may be, may be 
that level, but we're not worried. We're not as worried about ours. At which point I would ask them if they don't Logical. have confidence in their own heroes. Because this isn't this isn't an outside force they're dealing with. This is one of their own come back from the dead. If they would think the Dragon Clan poses a greater threat than one of their own heroes, I doubt their uh, pen conviction. Sorry. I mean, it's it's Shadowlands. It it could work people in different ways. Um. Therefore, in order to 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 make our point properly. I feel like we need to be able to offer specific experience with this Akuchi. Might I inquire the... what the plan regarding that? I don't know. I am you putting out to... direction. Perhaps we the... could ask the um, John. What was the name of Moto uh... Mitsuo? For clarity, Mitsuo Osama, uh, if any who have encountered the creature would be willing to speak with uh, us. Or, and I really want to make sure that I'm getting this correctly, you want us to travel out into the Shadowlands, find the Moto Akujin, get we thrashed we by it, and then relay our experiences to the Unicorn Clan. I said it wasn't a good plan. I love it. Our, I don't think that we are necessarily certain that the, that this this uh, Akujin is actually in the Shadowlands, to be fair. Ours <laughs> isn't. Well, true, there aren't any pockets of Shadowlands in the dragon in the dragon territory for it to be in. Otherwise, I would suspect it to be there. That you're aware of. This is also true. <laughs> We've established before, so Hisoka is allowed and capable of discretion. Where he so chooses. <laughs> <laughs> allowed of discretion, yes. Capable of it, no. <laughs> It depends on how deep the discretion goes. But no, I'm all in favor of, of marching into the Shadowlands on a rampant hunt for an Akujin. <laughs> I feel like that's Ransom, an argument I Please can't forgive my politeness, but wasn't that exactly why you were sent away from the Shadowlands? No, it oh, wasn't. And you're not going to find out why I was sent away from the Shadowlands. <laughs> Forgive my rudeness. Forgiven. Arashi leans in. So before you start killing each other, did you want to talk to that Moto girl? Probably a good idea, yes. He opens the door and steps out and closes it behind him. Very obvious, wanting, obviously wanting to get out of the room as you start arguing with each other. And Suzume has somehow acquired the popcorn, I assume. <laughs> Suzume yep. was Hayato on his... And I, Hayato S and Suzume are just sharing it back and forth. Suzume mm -hmm. has dropped off of Harashi's shoulder, yes, and is sitting next to Hayato with popcorn. You're not certain from where she got it. Same place she gets everything. From somebody else. <laughs> Legit. I'm pretty sure I know where Suzume got the popcorn. We're <laughs> still not sure where the popcorn came from. <laughs> well, and anything else happening before Arashi comes back with Mitsuo? Um. Quiet anticipation of a fight. <laughs> Just I and, see and mage aura. <laughs> you can't accidentally cast spells because they require like pulling out a scroll and going, I read off this long sequence of magic words. But sort of that like icy aura that the blue character gets when they're mad at the red character. Yes, the the, why, the, why the aura is, of why blue. Is there an 
Why is there no unarmed combat skill? There is. It's jujitsu. Jiu -jitsu. Oh, yeah, it is jujitsu, isn't it? Okay. Yep. Kisaki-sama. Would you like me to see if I can gather information regarding what the rank and file have potentially heard, seen, or even experienced regarding this situation? That would be most advisable, yes. I will leave the conversation with Motosama to you then. And I am up and out. As you leave, you pass Arashi and Motomitsuo coming back. Bow and walk. Mm -hmm. And a few moments later, the two of them enter the room. Well, Mitsuo enters the room. Arashi closes the door behind her and stays outside. <laughs> he is noping the fuck out. You called for me. Yes. We had a few further questions about the situation, if that is acceptable to you. She nods her head. Um, we were wondering um, if it would be possible to learn what encounters the city has had with this lost mm. creature. Well, our cavalry has met his <laughs> on the field no less than six times. Each time he has led a pack of Shadowlands creatures riding twisted mounts in the suggestion of horses. We have driven them back, but not terminated any of them. It seemed more that he was testing our defenses than truly coming for a skirmish. Hmm. How do I ask this politely? Yeah. <laughs> um, and if I could ask if there have been any personal or specific encounters that some might be able to speak to. Yes, I have I have confronted the the Akujin on the field. Only in passing though. Not staying long enough but for one or two passing glancing blows. And with that experience, you're confident that this is the lost of um... Nobutada was renowned for two things. His seven-branch sword and his stag helmet. Both of which are present. Of course. Uh, I, Hinata will at that point turn to notice that he, Hayato has disappeared. His this time I actually said I was gonna. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't paying attention, so sorry. She was Not icy a... staring at Akane. That's true. Yep. Well, do any of the rest of us have further questions? I can't rent on your expertise. You said he brought other soldiers with him wouldn't call them soldiers, but yes, creatures of the shadow. Dead, or, well, the risen dead, or something more. That would be the closest assumption I could make, yes. And you said that their mounts were the suggestion of a horse. Not a horse entirely, at least not an earthly one, no. We moved as horse and rider rarely can, as if they were one rather than two. Do you have anyone injured by any of these individuals? 
Non-injured survive. And you burn the bodies? Yes. Thank you. I don't have any further questions. She looks expectantly at Hisoka. Um... Trying to think. Uh, <clears throat> no, I don't think I have any. I I do not believe I have any questions personally. Unless I do have any other questions for the Twenty Five Shadowlands uh, lore. Am I am I missing anything that might be relevant information? Um. Well, Twenty Five Shadowlands core. What you've never encountered? What was described? Um, so it's difficult to ask more. Um, the, probably the only question that, the only question that might come to mind might be one that you may have already have a guess at an answer of, uh, would be whether or not these, uh, cavalry come with him or are spawned where he is. Yeah, that one's also a question that should be asked. Um. Before you go, the cavalry that he brings with him, do they emerge from the Shadowlands with him? Or do they rise from the battlefield as he moves? She looks at you for a moment. Some of them come with him. Others from the corpses of cavalry who are not, who are not recovered. <sighs> and you don't have a wall. On the open land. Thank you. He checks once more to see if anyone else has further questions, nods, and then leaves. Uh, Hayato. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Hayato is going to go look for some off-duty guards or soldiers uh preferably female the the guards that seem to be off duty are training it seems are that any this, of them this warlike this warlike <laughs> feeling is could is sort of forcing them to remain on edge even when not on duty okay um are any of them eating Give me a void roll. Let's see oh, how okay. lucky you are. Twelve. One happens to be eat a couple of them happen to be eating, yes. You see, okay. sort of uh, sitting off at the training ground, sitting off to one side um, with uh, sort of bent with small boxes uh, mm -hmm. that have uh, a number of uh, rice balls in them. Okay. Um, they seem to be sort of sitting back, leaning against the wall, silently eating. Ayato will break out his own rations and ask, would it be all right if I joined you? They nod. He'll sit down and try and strike up some conversation. So, pretty active, you guys around here. Looks like it's not the most calm of circumstances y'all are facing. Give me a courtier manipulation roll, maybe? Yeah, I'll give it that one. Okay. See if you can get them to open up. That's a 26. <laughs> okay. So, two of them just sort of nod. A third one seems slightly older than the rest, than the other two. Looks over. Yeah, well. She nods to the west. It tends to do that to you. We're probably going to be traveling next couple days or so. Anything particular we should be watching out for? The, the demon cavalry. Demon cavalry, you say? That's 
rather ominous. What do you mean? Kind of what it says on the tin. <laughs> she nods, no, that's fair. Nods again out towards the out towards the west. They come from the Shadowlands. I assume you've encountered them personally, then. We have. Yikes. Um. Does anything particularly work against them? <laughs> uh, she nods over to uh, a, a stack of crates on one side. Jade powder. We have. We all have a pouch of it on our horses. Sprinkle it on our spears when we go out. Strike a monster with that. It sends them reeling. Good to know. So it's pretty much just you guys versus them then. Seems like. Much. It seems like, and no offense or insult meant, but it seems like backup might be helpful. Yeah, it would. But not yet. Are they on the she, way? She she nods up at the castle. That's their job. Uh, yeah. No. Good point. We just do. We just patrol where we're told, and try not to die. He pulls out his bottle of sake. Drink? Anybody? She takes it. <laughs> Starts chugging. Uh, yep. Hands it back. He'll take a swallow. And then... So, uh... How many of you killed? One more swallow. Mm. Three. <laughs> Burn the bodies, I assume? Standard procedure? Yep. Them and them and the soldiers they got. Hmm. Well, fallen comrades. Mm. Takes another drink and passes it back. Mm. Takes another drink, passes it back. Mm. The other two seem content to stare at their feet and eat rice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can get her to eventually, through small talk, mm -hmm. uh, make any reference to specifics <coughs> of the battles. Yeah. Um, with your, with your previously established courtier role. Uh, yeah, no, she'll, she'll, as you guys talk, she'll tell you basically what, what they do is they patrol, they, they patrol out in the field between the castle and, and the Shadowlands, um, area. Uh, and every once in a while, they'll spot a rider with a stag helm, which is, uh, she, she'll indicate her own, Helmet, which is the sort of the standard samurai helmet, heavy heavy armor helmet, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. like this, but with stag antlers on the top and a demonic mask. Um, that's their leader. He has a. She'll, indi she'll indicate. Uh, she'll actually pull out, reaches over and pulls out a straight edged blade that you mm -hmm. uh, basically a longsword. Right. Um. Pulls it out and holds it up between us, between the two of you. One of these, but with seven branches on it. She'll indicate where it's got, basically, it's like a straight edge blade, but has a, a sort of seven, well, six technically, hooks right. on the left and right. Right, right. Up. Three, three, three on each side, kind of. Yeah, three on each yeah. side. Mm -hmm. um, Sounds vicious. It is, especially if you catch somebody with it. Uh -huh. It's about... Six feet long. He wow. Puts it back. Yeah, no, he's a big guy. It's a big sword. Um, uh huh. He'll come out with these demonic cavalry. It's the best we can describe. Uh, when we down Eight. one, they sort of split apart. It doesn't look like the riders are riding the horses so much as they're a part of the horses. That's horrific. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So if we're traveling and any of that happens, just run, run as fast as we can. Yeah. Unless okay. you've got okay. something, unless you've got something like a jade weapon or a jade powder to put on your mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I understand if it's like no the the actual garrison needs it, but would we potentially be able to acquire any of that? No, not from ours. Not from our stores. Maybe, no, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe someone else, but 
you don't have any on you just run good to know so though out of character hayato does know all the all the weapons you acquired right all, all act like jade blades, weapons right. Yeah. <laughs> right all the muscleman blades will be will be fine you're covered uh, on the damaging have... part it's the right. not getting plus trampled the... by demon horses part that's the trick right, right. <laughs> Plus, we've all got our jade pendants as well, right? Still, yeah. Yeah, that'll so that'll, that'll that that helps you against the Shadowlands taint. Okay. It doesn't necessarily help you against being run over by a demon horse. Right. Okay. Good we can know. be Good safely stabbed. We will still die if trampled. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I will finish up my conversation and food, and then excuse myself. Wish them all the best of luck, and mm -hmm. head on back. Yep. So what we need to do is capture one of these people and bring it back to the leaders so that we can so, so that we can convince them of everything. Um, you should take a photograph, but oh, wait, I mean, <laughs> no, Irie fair, was though, training in painting, right? How fast can she like just <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, when Jon Snow tried that, it didn't work out very well for the dragon in question. So Aaron, you're muted. <laughs> I don't believe that would necessarily be the most. That was me making it out. Okay. <laughs> Game of Thrones reference. So, Hayato returns to the room. I got that part. <laughs> Is uh, Motomitsuo still there? No, she's left by this point. I have <laughs> learned a few things. <laughs> Jade powder is employed by the garrison in their skirmishes to seemingly good effect. However, uh, supplies currently are limited, so our own weapons will likely have to suffice in that in that sector. Also, the troops employed by this Akujin are apparently a abomination construct uh, fusing both mount and rider into a single organism and with this level of power I believe it would be difficult for even the most resistant individual to Assume that a single garrison is capable of long withstanding this onslaught. So what we need to do is capture one. No, I... <laughs> well, kill one, certainly. Yes. Bringing its body along. Yes. It is a risk, of course. But if we can acquire a bit more jade or simply rely on what we have, the city where the council that we need to convince resides. How far away is that? Do we know? It's north. <clears throat> Do we know? Um, given basic knowledge of geography, yeah, you would know. Um, it's sort of... Uh, north on the other side of the lake that the river terminates into. Which well, is, is about a not. It's not too terribly far to the river, as you guys have already found out. Uh, so it'd probably take about a day. Uh, on foot, you'd have to cross around the lake rather than going across it, um, which would probably take you about two days. Um, but yeah. The so the concern of those not currently supplying support may not be that they do not estimate the threat as powerful, but rather a concern about leaving another spot vulnerable by reinforcing this one. That doesn't seem to be the implication that we've been given, though. To a valid fair. concern, but... The, the, the implication seems to be of the our military is more than capable of... They're underestimating the threat, not 
Give me a give me an etiquette roll, Isoka. Oh, damn. Isoka's actually good at it, so that's probably better for us. Twenty one. What? And, and yes, that's that's the implication you've been given. That being said, what Hinata says could make a level of sense because yes. If, if 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 that's true, you wouldn't want to come out and say that. So you would say, "Oh well, you're 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 powerful enough to deal with it on your own. We don't need to sacrifice troops from another location to come down here." So there could be there could be a difference in reality to what has been said. Other people don't just come out and say their entire motivation. It's kind of what Hinata is trying to communicate. What? You're kidding. Why would anybody not do that? Yeah. Are you an investigator because you don't <laughs> think anyone lies? <laughs> no, Hisoka knows people lie. And regardless, however, it seems that, that at this point, real quick, we're gonna take we're gonna take a quick break. So oh, ah, we'll be back okay. in a few minutes.
And we're back. And with Amara. We know Amara now. That may or may not have been why we went on break in the first place. Anyways, so the group of you are in the rooms provided to you, discussing plans. You have been informed of all the information regarding uh, Moto Nobutada, currently Moto Akujin, um, and are coming up with a plan as to how to acquire reinforcements for Shinooka, so that they can, in turn, provide reinforcements to you. All I'm saying is that a physical exhibit carries a great deal of weight and probably would be helpful I mean I know that's much more of a dragon clan thing than a Rokugan thing you know as far as legal matters are concerned but still it's 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 worth looking at and if it we can is. get some extra jade that'll make transporting it easier it is a good plan I will point out to a caveat in that spell by the way that Aaron has uh, minor binding which can capture or hold Shadowlands creatures it does not work on in, but it specifically calls out that it does not work on the lost Oni lords or their spawn or creatures that have an earth of four or higher and these might be considered lost spawn hmm. uh... That's why I say we, we kill one and take the each. corpse rather than trying to attack. <laughs> I feel like that would be easier anyways. <laughs> now the that, question that, is... that hag exploded though. Won't it just poof away and we can't bring the evidence in then? And we fought something for nothing at that point. Not necessarily. Besides the no, the hag kind of exploded because we exploded her, I think. Yeah, no, the hag's corpse hit the ground, and then you guys burnt the cave. Yeah. Ah, got it. Okay. <laughs> you guys Never exploded mind. the hag. The hag didn't explode got herself. It. <laughs> got it. I... Still uncomfortable with the idea of intentionally bringing a... <laughs> lost-ish creature even as a corpse especially as a corpse in some ways yeah, it, it is sort of the equivalent of bringing a plague victim into a town <laughs> yeah and don't they do... Hayato switches back to his normal demeanor perhaps then we leave the corpse outside of town and request those most notable in the in the settlement to come and observe in a more is isolated location. That is the same issue. I apologize. I spoke out of turn. These people aren't speaking terms to each other. What's judgment? going to... I is lost so everybody. Are eyes boring into you with a clear expectation? Uh, Mara, we're losing you, I think. I, you, you started to ask a question oh, when you broke up. Um, yeah, uh, can you hear me again? Barely. Sort of. At all? Also, at all? I think your video okay. is frozen, so Little you know, bit. maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, your video is frozen. You started to clear up again. Hmm. We can hear uh, you now. I don't Internet know. Issues. We can hear you now. Huh. And okay, then... sweet. I'm on my phone, so that's probably a very good explanation. Yeah. Um, I was saying, um, these people don't talk to each other. I don't seem to have any sort of regular communication. What's going to make them come out in the middle of, you know, out of, in, in the middle of nowhere, as, as you said, um, uh, uh, Nakano, uh, son, uh, to see something potentially very dangerous because didn't you say um did, wasn't there something about having these things around summons more of them isn't this yeah. just bringing the shadowlands further into places where it isn't already potentially yes and while it may be difficult to convince a um, group of honorable members of a town or city council to 
abandon their the protection of their <coughs> fortress in order to observe a imminent threat. I believe that we have the necessary tools to impress upon them both the necessity of their observations and the imperative nature of assisting their neighbors within their own clan. Um, and just real quick, if any of you at any point want to, you don't have to, uh, you can make a etiquette or courtier role to come, up like with, to come up with an idea if you're sort of stuck on ideas. And oh, etiquette. <clears throat> don't have one you All like. Right, yeah. I'm going to make a courtier, courtier. Roll and then be right back. So. Okay. Um, that's a nine for me. Well, Kane has no ideas. Twenty-two. We'll, as we're making all of the rolls, make the statement. Eleven. Well, I appreciate I that. Like the spiritual advisor and uh, one with the most direct experience with the kami. I am still deep. This is. Not only deeply unconventional, but deeply inappropriate in a way that does not befit the unconventional reputation of the unicorn. Okay. With a 19 from Hayato and a 22 from Hisoka, uh, I got an 11 and the Kari got a 9 is... And he also got a 9. Okay. Um, so, for most of you, bringing a... Bringing a Shadowlands creature to the capital city of the Unicorn is a bad idea. In any shape, in any way, shape, or form. Like, that's just, it's bad on numerous levels. Um, this is the capital. That's worse, yeah. Uh, yeah, because it's the capital. It's like bringing a plagued corpse, mm. but worse. You could potentially infect the mm. capital of the Unicorn with Shadowlands taint. You could bring something that would summon more Shadowlands creatures to the capital, etc., etc. Continue down the line. Um, Hisoka and Hayato. Are Hisoka? Well, Hayato first. Um, Hayato, you know that the Dragon Clan are the only ones that really need evidence for things. Mm -hmm. okay. um, most other clans, if you can argue well enough from a point of honor, and and. Without, you don't necessarily need evidence to prove a thing is worthwhile. You just need to be a good enough speaker. Okay. Um, Hisoka could theoretically convince them just by talking to them, because that's kind of Hisoka's job. Isn't it also kind of Irie's job? Irie, I, uh, theoretically, Irie could, although Hisoka would be better at it. Um, Hisoka, not only do you not need evidence... You don't even need to be a good arguer because you're from outside the clan. If you think they're doing something dishonorable, you can challenge them to a duel and appoint someone as your champion, and the victor would be proven the honorable one in the eyes of the kami. Which has a, yep. lar which has a large amount of sway. Um... Like they're, they're like you can ritual combat your way out of this. You figure the only reason that the only reason that the people here probably haven't done that, if they haven't done that, they may have done that, is because they can't afford to lose any more soldiers if the duel goes bad. Um. So you you do have like like the, there certainly may be other plans you can come up with, and there are other plans that may have a higher percentage chance of working. But like sort of last ditch effort opportunities, you could just talk to them. And if talking fails, challenge the leader of the unicorn clan to a duel, issuing one of your companions as your champion and see what happens. My vote We're is back to our happens. first plan in some ways. So like th th that's sort of like while you may want to come up with a different plan or want to come up with another plan, those are a pair of plans that are always on the table for any situation. Mm. Because, again, the Dragon Clan are the only ones that require evidence for things. <laughs> yes. But it's a so good. What I've been to learn trained this into. Evidence. Well, you've, you've, uh, been, you've been trained into like, that, yes, but you know, would have, you've that... also been trained that the Dragon Clan are the only ones that do that. 
We're the only ones who do it right. Yes, because you're the only smart ones. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, well. So that's an option. <laughs> the thing we can do. Yes, <sighs> and the risk to populated areas is, of course, a very well received point. I was really, yes, really excited about the possibility of having an Independence Day moment. Oh, you need to see my authorization? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You think that that's good? Yes, I know. He not just the fun killer character. <laughs> no, he doesn't want killer. the zombie outbreak to happen. That might work <laughs> on the wall, but here. <laughs> I mean, I've got to fulfill my dark fate at some point. Oh, Infecting unicorn oh, plant oh, oh. might work. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I know pretty much exactly oh, how hey, your dark fate is. I have two that work. have now become like splatters on the wall because of black powder. <laughs> That's a really creative <laughs> method of execution. <laughs> don't worry. Um, um, does, does Hayato know if you go and try and talk another clan into doing something, is it more appropriate to have a single individual do the talking or can you go as like a team or a group? You could go as a group, but it would be best to have probably One. Hisoka talk okay. because of the group of you, Hisoka is the highest in status right not really but kind of <laughs> he's really equal to all of you in status but he is the son of a daimyo right he's an entitled fucker <laughs> so <laughs> i could so be wrong have, but i thought have jack Captain started Privilege with lower status than us right. yeah I oh lower. i started with way lower status than any of you yeah well, not with honor, lower <laughs> honor, way lower honor. That's true. not with lower status. status. You all started the same status. Oh, okay. yeah. You all started I'm with the status of one. Now. It's honor and glory that are different. I still have a status of one. Mm -hmm. You all should still have a status of one. Uh, mm -hmm. One ish. Because you haven't done much. To yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Increase yeah. That. Sorry, I get confused between glory, status, rank, um, and whatever and other bullshit, level. bullshit social status <laughs> ratings there are. On honor is a thing you earn. Honor and glory are things you yes, earn. Status is something you are. <laughs> I'm just things. giving the system. It's three a hard tier time. authentication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hayato will simply turn to uh, Hisoka. Kisaki-san, we have presented our various suggestions. I believe it is fairly clear which would be the most effective in terms of risk and possible success. Which do you choose to pursue? I feel like arguing the point is our best plan. Very well. Of course. Well, yeah, about what time of day is it? Uh, a little afternoon. I assume we should report to the magistrate before we depart. Yes, we should. We should definitely uh, uh, let them know what our plan is. Atto put on his pack, assume mantis posture, and open the door. You open the door to see Arashi standing there waiting. He's just been waiting. We're outside. going on a walk. <clears throat> okay. He and Suzume following behind you. As the group of you head back to the council chambers, mm -hmm. where you find once again uh, this group of counselors. Um, and 
Utaku Ren? Yes. Utaku Ren. Uh, so stands up. <clears throat> have you come up with a plan? We have. Um... <coughs> Our plan is we're going to talk real good to your boss. No. Um, I mean, that's not Just wrong. Like that. If that fails, we're we going will to argue. <laughs> no. In the socially approved of ritual combat method, <laughs> we're doing it by the book. Exactly. So because your people are stupid and don't accept and don't accept physical evidence and just accept our word, we're going to give our word. No. Um <laughs> Potato Potato. Yes, we will we will travel to the capital and argue our point. We will participate in the game of thrones. Um <laughs> I mean you know what happens when you play that game. Yeah, you either win or die. Yes. Joffrey mm-hmm. Sama, you're a dick. <laughs> Joffrey Sama. <laughs> oh, God. Random At cow best, pat- Joffrey gets a coon. Random cow patty flies out of the side and hits Hisoka in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I am not Joffrey. <laughs> I mean, you do have a dark fate. Hisoka has a lot of... Fl- okay, in Game of Thrones... <laughs> Everybody has dark fate. Everybody <laughs> has dark fate. Flaw. Except Littlefinger, oddly enough. <laughs> no, even Littlefinger. Watch the new se- little last season. Um, <laughs> anyway, before Jeremy pisses anyone off with Game of Thrones spoilers. Sorry, I spoiled the walks show outside and that, I spoiled a season that's been off the air for six months. I mean, anyways, I have to walks outside. Picks a guard at random. Can we get our stuff back? <laughs> when you leave? Oh, it's their stuff. Oh, I think we're getting ready to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, then when you leave, it will be returned to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Your assistance is appreciated. <laughs> very much appreciated. You guys are fantastic. You run a real tight ship around here. Um, Hinata will as gently as Which possible. Which direction is the capital? Guide Hayato. I love Mantis Hayato so much. Back inside it's the building. Just Jack. <laughs> um, Hisoka, uh, Ren, looks yes. you. Uh, we will give you. We will see what sort of an escort we can put together for you, and send you on your way with horseback. So. We get there Thank quicker. you. That is most appreciated. It is a pre- what you are doing is also appreciated. May your travel be safe. And she just sort of indicates. Uh, we will have your escort meet you at the gates of the castle. Very well. So the group of you <laughs> head back over towards the gates, and as you're being given your stuff back, Akane. Sword, 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 machete. Um, <laughs> you see uh, Mitsuo uh, approaching with uh, herself. Uh, Hayato, the, the older female guard that you talked with, who was on break. Mm-hmm. Um, the large blonde one that took Akane's weapon and a few others. Um, sort of approach with horses. Uh, <laughs> each of them have a horse for each of you, as well as a horse for themselves. Uh, there seems to be one guard for each of you. Who's my guard? Hmm. Uh, the older lady. Okay. The, the one you talk to. This is a different ship than I'm used to sailing. <laughs> and Hayato attempts to mount a horse. Give me an athletics check. Okay. As the rest of you are helped onto your horses by the unicorn. These horses are much larger than any horse you've ever seen. Some of you have experience riding horses. You have experience riding normal horses, not war horses. These are these are about twice the size and twice the width of a horse you're used to riding. <laughs> you got 31? Yeah, you scramble up there. 
not the most deft, but not you don't fall off. Well, this is a little kind of spreads you a bit. Yep. I'm going to try to roll on skill because why not? Are you accepting? Yeah. Three. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, Hisoka, as you get up on the horse, you just go, I mean, I don't know how hard can this be? It was easy to get up. Giddy up. And the horse bucks. <laughs> Delvia kicks me in the back of the head, too. It doesn't kick you Somehow. in the back of your head. However... You take this is perfect. You take twenty six points of damage. You hit the ground. <laughs> Holy shit bags! Bam! Hinata. This. Bam! Just almost not even looking, expecting it at this point. Mutters a few words and taps Hisoka um, to. Do, do, do. That's two thirds of my hit points. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I mean, ex expo with exploding tens, you landed really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I get one I back. Feel the moderatest amount possible better. <laughs> oh my amazing. god, that's amazing! Yeah, you, you one hit point. Jeremy so you dice hate you. I I. Clean my hands of this. You hit the for ground. Those, for those watching at home, I rolled with two dot two d ten a three, and then <laughs> took twenty six damage out of thirty eight, and then thanks got to exploding one, ten. Thanks, thanks to exploding ten, and then with four 40. dice keep two, Aaron rolled. That that explode, Aaron rolled an 11, which means I heal one. Actually, I have to correct that. That is not actually the right roll. That would be dealing with psychic damage. I pressed oh, the wrong button. Yeah, that's roll mind <laughs> healing. You mind oh, healed yeah. him for one. Oh, you're, sorry. You are not less ashamed, basically. Just one hit point back of, of shame. Um, there you go. Oh, that's you, you better. That's better. That's better. more the number better. of dice I was expecting to roll. Thank you. Okay. You so I healed heal 21 and I have five wounds left. So yeah, but more importantly, Hisoka, you oh, hit the ground. Bandages later. The ground isn't muddy. <laughs> but you are covered in that. slick something. Oh, no. And it smells real bad. Yeah, that's what'll happen with horses. Uh, uh, and you landed face first uh, into uh, it, too, is probably the worst part. Inata will accept help up onto a horse. She hasn't necessarily ridden a war horse before, but she's, like, vaguely seen them. Yeah. The other, the, 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 the unicorn help you get up and start to dust you off as they, yeah. as they pull you out of the pile of horse manure that you landed in. Uh-huh. So he's yeah, I'm, I'm... he's Biff from Back to the Future. <laughs> they they the yeah. unicorn the unicorn have straight faces and are not laughing as <laughs> they help you up and clean you off as best they can. Hayato seems to have been seized by a fit of sneezes <laughs> <laughs> that he is trying we to establish muffle that this in is meditation as much right? as possible. Yes, meditation. Yeah, meditation. I'm going to try that. Is the, if you feel like you might not be able to keep calm, meditation is the role. <laughs> Hinata clearly seems exhausted at this point. Yep. There's a sneezing just all day. air of <laughs> God. Fucking... Eleven. If Oh. That, that will, we, we will lead the horse. You don't need to try to make it go. They say to you very calmly as they... Great. We appreciate that. Do their we best to clean you off. Moment. Kiseki sama have you noticed if you say the word appreciate like ten times in a row, it stops sounding like an actual word? Hmm? Appreciate, appreciate it. 
Yeah, yeah, it just loses it. The your your the older lady looks over at you. You mean it depreciates? Sorry, what? I feel like Aaron is about ready to murder somebody. <laughs> no, but he not rolled an eleven on her meditation roll, so she might. They get you back up on your horse. They give. Well, at first they dump a bucket of water on you to to yeah. get all the little. And they dry you off, get you back up on the horse. You're wet and you still smell vaguely, and you taste it in your mouth still, and that's the worst part. Yeah, you're pretty certain yeah. something got in your teeth. Yeah, great. Um, I pass him the now half-empty bottle of sake. Thank you. <laughs> it's just like on 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 her horse that she's been helped into because she wasn't about to resist. Um, <laughs> she just kind of uh, kind of kind of flips the top off of her bottle of shochu, takes another swig, puts it back, <laughs> looks directly at camera. <laughs> <laughs> looks to, a camera materializes in front. No. <laughs> um, and after getting everyone mounted, they lead you on. Uh, all of your horses are tied to the other horse, so you're being led by their horse. You're not having to control anything. You're just having to maintain, uh, which is easy enough to do. While these are war horses, they're trained war horses. And in the hands of a rider that knows what they're doing, don't buck. <clears throat> so, you head north, and you make good time. These horses are fairly fast. Um, within an hour or so, the lake is in sight and you're beginning to turn around it. Um, everyone give me perception checks. Or investigation. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, investigation checks will be the appropriate one. 21. 10. 43. Yes. Nice. 25. Uh, so, yeah, you all notice. You all notice. Um, as you turn west to go circle around the lake, to begin to circle around the lake, um, you all glance sort of southwest of here and see a shadowed figure with stag horns coming out of the Shadowlands. Um. Isn't that... Tapping, yes. what's her name, the older lady on the shoulder. Is that, is that who I think uh -huh. that is? They all sort of turn and look, and in unison pull out Tonto and slice the lead ropes. I think you're going to have to go on your own from here. <laughs> <laughs> As they right. ready spear and turn to face... The oncoming shadow. Um, Akane looks. Akane looks at um, the the group of them, and is try not to die. You can't afford to lose any more soldiers. If you can, if you can harry them, break off and get back to your fortress. They all sort of reach into a side a saddlebag and pull out a pouch of jade dust that they run across their spears. Oh, don't worry. Oh, we good. are planning to not die. <laughs> Mitsuo puts on her helmet and pulls from her bag a sort of a red demon mask that she clips into the helmet to cut, to hide her face. Uh, looking back at the group of you, she reaches out and smacks the butt of Hisoka's horse with her spear, <laughs> which God sends it. it galloping off. <laughs> um, Do I need which, to make a horse? No, you're more? able to hold on. Okay. Uh, and as the horse goes off, they call back behind you. They know the way. Go. All right. I um, really wanted to. Well, you, you still have time to say something. This is going... We will then have been personal witness to one of these encounters, which will give our argument much more weight. <laughs> Do you want to try to rear the horse? Good to try. Give me a horse. It's control. not going to so work. The lead ropes are sort of being cut and they're like setting up their spears and stuff, Hinata will cast um which one's the leader? The uh, Mitsuo. Star captain. She put yeah. the mask on. Fourteen range um she'll cast ebbing strength um and mm -hmm. give them an extra point of mm -hmm. 
You know what? Let's make it strength. Okay. Um, kind of because I can't afford it to be salmon, and kind of because I think strength would be helpful. Um, All right. Yeah, you feel your strength ebb and flow into this uh, uh, the captain, um, who who just sort of salutes by tapping her spear on the side of her helmet as they ready spears and prepare and, and get into formation. Uh, Hisoka, you managed to pull the reins up and get your horse to halt as the rest of you catch up to him. Um, and you can sort of turn and see the group of unicorn cavalry charging down uh, towards this lone figure. As this figure emerges, you can see more fully now what they look like. Uh, it is a samurai dressed in heavy black armor with purple lining. This great stag helm on top with these massive... 12 point antlers. Um, their face is hidden behind a black demon mask, very similar to the one that Mitsuo Do put I? on. Uh, and, as, and they sort of raise into the air this black seven pronged blade. Um, this is probably <laughs> mostly a question for Jeremy. Can I tell what Hisoka is intending? Probably. He's staring very intently at the at the scene. And we've talked about this previously. Um, As if he's Kisaki trying to memorize said, it. Have you? Do you have any experience with mounted combat? I don't plan on fighting. I plan on observing, so that we can provide a personal account that will give our argument that much more weight. You Can I make realize... an investigation check to find a more tactically secure location from which he might be able to observe than about, right say, fucking here? Jerk, sure, an investigation check. I'm not <laughs> saying he's smart. I was about to say, you do realize that if they break off or die, he will come for us. And that is one Or we, we can do. assist them. We have the blades. We are not better riders than they or him. We cannot assist or outrun him. Which is why we should probably get a head start just in case. Um, we can help so... them much better by bringing reinforcements and by watching now. Hayato, there is not really a bet. Like, it's open field. There's not like a, uh, there's not like a ridge anywhere or anything. It, it's open field. Like, okay. there's a slight hill going up, like, around the lake, but it's not enough to hide behind. Uh-huh. Um, and as you all are sort of having this discussion and watching, the blade rises into the air and lightning strikes from nowhere, hitting the blade and dancing along the prongs before going down into the ground around him. The earth erupts and from it ride five more dark mounted figures that just sort of emerge from the ground around him, swords and lances at the ready. I believe the kami would say, you have seen enough, Kisaki-sama. Hmm. And he's just going to ride. Hmm. Right, give me a horsemanship roll. <laughs> oh, dear God. Are any of you trying to make his horse go? Um, That's uh, a 20. Is horsemanship animal handling, or is it a separate thing? Uh, it is it's a separate horsemanship thing. under separate bouquet thing. skills. Hmm. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, That's a fire skill. Um... I might try. Um, I have a train. I, I'm trained in it. That's worth something. Hmm. Let's see, so it'll be horsemanship to ride, animal handling to make. Uh, okay. Hisoka's horse go. Okay. Um, I have animal handling. Let's try that. All right. Give me an animal handling roll. Twenty-seven. You just reach out yes. and smack the ass of that horse, and it bolts. Hisoka, you're watching. Go. <laughs> Uh, fortunately enough, you still have pretty good line of sight to see. Okay. Uh, because again, it's open plain. You can watch as the horse I is riding. I just turned myself around. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm as so the, dumb. The, horses, the horses move instinctively following the you're path. You're doing that thing where they give you the cutscene where you're only allowed to swivel the camera, so you swivel it to exactly where you're not supposed to look. 
<laughs> and yeah, you watch as these as the cavalry meet the unicorn cavalry, uh, sort of spearing into the charge from these uh, dark shadowlands creatures that retaliate in kind. Spears lashing out. One of the unicorn cavalrymen hit the ground. Like you see, they they just got unlucky, and uh, shadowlands spear strikes through uh, their defenses, getting them in the throat and taking them off their horse. Uh, the horse panics and flees because it's just lost its rider and it needs to know that it, it needs to at least survive. Um, Mitsuo, you see, sort of uh, drops her spear and pulls out a katana and she sort of clashes with the stag-helmed one um, as the others continue to dart back and forth harassing the other creatures. Um, the battle has been joined in full as your horses continue around the lake. Uh, and you will be able to see for some time. Uh, after a while, when you've gotten quite a distance away and you're closer to the capital than to the battle, um, the riders, the unicorn riders peel off. Um, but the one in particular, it, it was the, the older lady uh, who had been riding with Hayato um, on the ground. Uh, the uh, leader, Nobutada, or Akujin, uh, rides over towards her corpse, waves his blade over it, and again, lightning strikes his sword and then bounces off into her, and darkness engulfs her as body rises from the ground, the earth cracking and another horse-like entity rising up underneath her. And sort of with their prey having escaped the group of them turn and ride back into the Shadowlands. I feel like I need to quote one of my old characters here. Uh, in the immortal words of, of, of Dirk, fuck nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, jerk. <laughs> Love Dirk. It definitely seems that no matter how skilled the unicorn cavalry might be, at the very least here, it's very difficult for them by themselves with the small amount of numbers that they have to come away from any of these battles unscathed. Yep. Hayato sees none of this. Hisoka sees all of it. Yep. And then falls off his horse again. <laughs> do, you, do you try to write yourself, Hisoka? Yeah, of course I Give will. me a horsemanship roll. All right. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> would you God. like to make an honor roll instead? Yes, I would. Roll your honor. <laughs> it's going to be real hard for me to fail this. No, it's it's roll honor, keep honor, right? Roll honor, keep honor, yep. How do you program that? So uh, it, Oh, it, fuck it. Roll 7d10 because... Yeah. Roll 7d10, keep 7, double bang. Why would I keep... There's no need to worry about keeping because yeah. if it's 7... 43. Yep. You managed to swing back around. Uh, you almost, you feel like you're about to fall off the horse and then memory of hitting horse manure floods back into your mind and the smell and taste come back and you just, no! <laughs> I mean, I feel like in that particular moment, the greater concern is falling backwards into galloping hooves. Yep. Not for you. <laughs> Hisoka's like, I am not showing up to the capital of the Unicorn Clan with shit on my face. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, ah. Do we have enough of, a, enough of a lead on them that we're going to make the city before they can catch up to us? They don't seem to be chasing you. Oh, okay, even better. So We are not the city's defenses that are good at the horse riding. Nope. Uh, Hayato is doing the hanging on and the waiting for it to stop. <laughs> <laughs> After about a half an hour of hard riding, uh, the horses come to a stop uh, within sight of the walls of the capital city. And they Ew. very abruptly stop, so I'm going to need all of you to make horsemanship rolls. Oh, good. Because <laughs> yes. they just go... Seventeen. Eight. 
Would you like to make an honor roll? <laughs> uh, nine. Yeah. Uh, would you like to make an honor roll? Can I make yeah. it? Yes. Would you like to make an honor roll? <laughs> I would have asked. Yeah. Um, Hayato, would you like to make an honor roll? <laughs> 19. 43. No, Hayato would not like to make or an honor your, roll. Or is your honor roll worse 17. than your actual roll? His, his honor roll is definitely going to be worse than his actual. <laughs> that doesn't look right. You, 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 you didn't the put D oh. in. You didn't put D10. Oh, right. I, I missed the D10 instead of the keep. Roll six. Keep six. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled six. I rolled a six. Ah, uh, vertical video. <laughs> what? I... 48. Oh, also, yeah, you're also, muted, Aaron. You're, you're muted, you're, not I Aaron. Mean, uh, Mara, you're Mara. muted. Yeah. You're muted and vertical. <laughs> These are two things that are very bad for different reasons. There we go. Now you're horizontal again. <laughs> Probably still muted. Definitely still muted. All right. Well, the set, so <laughs> starting while that's being worked on, starting with Hayato. Uh, Hayato, you feel like you're going to go over. And so you just grip the neck of the horse and <laughs> boom, swing around. You're underneath the horse's chin. Okay. But you're but still on stopped, the horse. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it has stopped. You're just sort of hanging upside down underneath the horse's neck. The horse has a very strong muscular neck. You're very appreciative of this fact right now. <laughs> hey, Hayato does the Winnie the Pooh dismount where you like reach out with one toe feeling for the ground. And oh, once you find yeah, it, no, you, it... you don't you don't feel the ground. This horse is a lot taller than you. OK, we're going to drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, hit, you you land on your feet, fortunately. Um, that then going to Hisoka. Yeah, you managed to clench your leg, clench your thighs, and hold on, and you don't get thrown off. Um, Hinata, same. You 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 hold on and and don't get thrown. Uh, Akane, you almost lose your seat, mostly because you're not used to you're not used to this sudden of a stop. You're not yeah. used to riding horses. Yeah. Um, much less horses this powerful. Uh. But uh, you're you you manage to like sort of clinch and grab the saddle before you go over the head, and you instead just sort of face plant in the mane of the horse, Is which it? hurts, but not as much as hitting the ground would have. Yeah. Uh, and I agree. Uh, I agree with a twenty-one. I agree with a twenty-one. Yeah, you're good. Hayato just glares into the horse's eyes. Don't do that. In your face. Horse breath. It's not pleasant. Okay, you have a point. <laughs> <laughs> and he turns around and just walks towards the city. <laughs> completely abandoning this four-legged monstrosity. The horse follows after you. <laughs> you have your own side dog. The, the group, the horses, after uh, having stopped and seeing the one following after her, to continue at a, at, a, at a more calm pace than the running they had previously been doing. Uh, and you find yourselves at the gates where you are greeted by guards who, the gates are open, so you're not, you're just sort of, <clears throat> you're just uh, stopped, but not like prevented from going inside. Uh, greetings, travelers, your business in the capital. Uh, we have that. <laughs> we would like to seek an audience with um, whoever the charge, whatever the appropriate. The daimyo. Yes. Bear back. Uh, I am. I am uh, Kisaki Soka. Um, he's my allies and. It is a matter of extreme importance. Well, uh, in relation so... to a threat to both of our clans. 
Very well. Uh, if you wish to seek an audience with the daimyo, he just sort of leans over and indicates with his spear. The daimyo's castle is there in the middle of town. Thank you. You all continue on. Do you leave the horses at the gate? Aaron, you're muted. Yes? Mara, you're also muted. Do I know what we're supposed to do with the horses? Given... One, this is kind of a little bit of a... Um, and I have some experience with the unicorn. Um, leaving them with the guards would probably be the best thing for you all to do, because you're not... While you have experience with horses, you're not good at having experience with caring for them. Um, and it, the soldiers would know... The, the guards would know what to do with them. Yeah. Um, yes, I assume Still we leave horses with the guards. Explaining that Mara seems very adamant about something. I'm sorry. I, I, I frustrated with this with Skype. I think. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, leaving our horses with them, explaining that the horses are from the garrison at Shinoka. Shinoka. Um. Yep. They they take them and stable them. Right. Still can't hear you, Mara. I think it's the I think it's the earbuds. I, un, did you unplug it? Try to see if you can unmute now on Skype. No, yeah, no, we still can't hear you. Skype. I not think that was a, I'm not muted on Skype though from lip reading. Oh. Well then. Can I hear you still? Uh, try. You could try leaving and re entering the call. Oh, yeah. Close down Skype entirely. Like, app, shut it down on your phone and then reopen it. Skype! Yep. <laughs> Hard reset. Anyways. So, the group of you make your way towards the castle. Um, where you are stopped by guards. You explain you're there to meet the daimyo. Um, they inform you that the daimyo is currently in conference, but that they can, uh, they can acquire a counselor who can speak with you, or a courtier who can speak, who you can speak to, who can then relay your message. Wonderful. All right. Um, you're led off to sort of a side room. A little, a little tea room. There's tea set aside, uh, a pot that has war that has freshly brewed tea, and cups for you. And the door closes behind you, and it's just the group of you in the room. Well, that is an experience that I would not choose to. Participate in again, given the choice. Agreed. Didn't like riding a horse. Any threat by Shadowlands creatures? Not particularly. No Shadowlands creatures I am fine with. <laughs> kind of gives you a look. <laughs> Not yes, that we yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can hear you. <gasps> yes! Okay, I, I can hear everyone. I can't see anyone. This is great. Oh. That's fine. Oh. We can see you. And that's the important Sweet. part. Sweet. Okay. Uh, no, I was I was just being mad at my computer. Carry on. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, something's happening. Yes, you're in you're in a room. You are all in sort of a tea room. Okay. Recovering from the horse ride. Ah. Uh, okay. Waiting for uh, a courtier of some kind to be presented. Uh, frantically brushing my clothes down to like it, if I got ruffled at all. Like, they definitely did. Yes. Yep, yeah, I'm trying to get the wrinkles out. <laughs> yeah, make yourself presentable. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, I thought I was going to follow suit. <laughs> sure, everyone can give me a. Oh, there's got to be a thaumaturgy spell. Give me a second. 
There, there might have to be, but do you have it, is the question. Yeah, I, I must have taken, like, if there is one, I took it. Um, uh, otherwise, would it be, what, an acting role? Yeah, it'd be, a, for disguise, it'd, yeah right? it'd be an acting, it'd be an acting or an etiquette role. Probably take Emphasis courtesy? Yeah, courtesy would apply. 36. Akane does not care about hiding the fact that she has been through multiple battles and a horse and <laughs> to get here. Etiquette. 22. Mm-hmm. Hey, Hisoka, you... you 23. The, the, the three of you make yourselves more presentable. Irie, you're trying, but these wrinkles will not go away to your satisfaction. You need a hot Inata rock is used and time. To modular clothing. I just have to, like, just straighten it back out. You need a hot rock in time, and you have neither of those. And also, we can't hear you again. <laughs> you have, you have internet. You have become muted once more. <laughs> I, you can, we can't I, hear you. We can't hear name. you, but I assume there's lots of swearing. <laughs> <laughs> Words no, are being said. Yes. Words are being said, but what they are. Anyways, after about 30 minutes of you sitting in this room by yourselves, um, a very well put together uh, male comes into the room wearing the unicorn clan colors, but as a, as a, a kimono rather than armor, as you've been used to seeing thus far. Uh... Welcome, travelers from distant lands. I am Utaku Kazuo, uh, one of the courtiers here in the land of the unicorn. Our daimyo is unfortunately quite busy, but any message that you wish to relay, trust that I have his ear and can provide the message. Thank you, Otaku-san. What um, did we decide is the insight check on this? Hmm. It's, uh, it's investigation. It's investigation, interrogation versus their sincerity, deception. Yeah, I, I, like I definitely want to see mm-hmm. if this guy's full of shit. Birdie. Investigation, interrogation. Yep. A uh, twenty-seven, which is actually a thirty-two, because I am plus five for all contested. Uh, let me see if there's anything else cool that I have, because I have a bunch of. <laughs> you do. This is your um, shit. This is what you do. It's almost like this char- the one of these characters was built for this. There's a Name free it. raise. Um, and Nine. he has plus what? 10 to his target number if he's trying to be deceptive. Okay. So that's as if that's a 37. Uh, 42. It's as, 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 as if it's a 42. Yes. Um, this is where you shine. Uh-huh. Bullshit detector As opposed online. to, say, getting on a four-legged beast. Yeah, no, that's not... Where that's, I do not shine. Where you distinctly do not shine. You shine. You do shine getting off a four-legged beast, however. <laughs> <laughs> that was, no, more, of a, that was up, more of a sheen. I end up shiny. I don't shine. <laughs> that, that was more of a sheen, really. Um, <laughs> tiger blood. Anyways. Uh... Winning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Um... <laughs> that one took William by surprise, apparently. <laughs> um no, this person is not bullshitting you. This, this, they are one of the. They are one of the. You can tell very quickly. Also, they have a. They have sort of an, a, a pin adorning their kimono that gives them away. But um, they are one of the counselors of the unicorn. The people. I mean, that, I was less concerned know. about him about whether he's be because if he's the person that's meeting with us, then I'm assuming that he that he's authorized. It's more of sort of. How is he, is he, is he actually going to be reacting to us? As in, oh, let me talk to these people and give them the brush off. Uh, no, it, it is a genuine. You, the Kisaki name is known. Okay. Like uh, outside of the Dragon Clan. It might not be as 
prominent outside of the Dragon Clan or outside of the area that the Kisaki rule, but it is a known name. Okay. Um, and no, have we seen, he's, he is there in sincerity to speak with you for whatever reason you may have. Okay. Um, Testing also, one, two, three. We can hear you yes! again. Yes! Okay. For, for at um, least the next five seconds. Sweet. And um, it, 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 it does seem like he is somebody who can make a decision as well. Okay. Uh, he is not necessarily somebody who has to listen to your listen to you translate it over to someone else, then get back to you. Um, just from the way he's holding himself and and the the way he is speaking to you. Okay. Um, we wish to speak with you um, about uh, I we have are aware that um, uh, information about an Akujin. Who uh, who has been troubling your your southern lands has been communicated. If I am if, if the information we have been I almost die coming back in. Yes, uh, we have been informed of this particular. You are threat. not the only people dealing with such of a such a problem. It is not isolated to you. Um, we also have. And uh, uh, an Akujin who is uh, who who has appeared from apparently the same time frame or within the same time that's frame. That's what it seems to be. Yeah. Um. And I was hoping to have the opportunity to convince you and thus. Daimyo, to reconsider the stance of 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 not sending additional aid down to your southern territories. Uh, he takes a seat as you're explaining. Mm -hmm. Pours a cup of tea and offers one to you. Thank you. Pours a cup of tea, drinks himself. Mm -hmm. The situation to the south is known to us. We are under the impression that the troops at our garrison at Shinooka should be enough to handle the issue. You seem to have alternate beliefs, however. If you would please elaborate. I do, and this is, this is certainly not a statement on, on the capability of your troops. We have seen them actively engage in in conflict with uh, creatures from the Shadowlands while well, we were on our way up here. And they were quite capable. That said, they were also overwhelmed. <clears throat> um, I am not certain if this particular creature that we saw is is the Akujin that was that was? Uh, I mean, it, it had all the signs you were told yes. to look for. Yeah, um, I I am not certain. I assume it is the case. Um, if it is, it's problematic enough. If it's not, I can speak. In terms of our own experience with with with, with uh, uh, Kyrie Akut, um, that despite very skilled combatants engaging him, he brushed those combatants aside as if they were nothing. You, uh, um, uh, Akujin, uh, B Moto, Moto Akujin, yeah. yeah, Moto Akujin, um, uh, not only had uh, a martial prowess, but perhaps most disturbing, I personally witnessed him bringing slain your slain soldiers back from the dead under his control. 
it's not a situation where it can just be handled by I I don't believe it can be handled by just a a what you have there because all he needs to do is fight a war of attrition. It is something that needs to be handled with a strong show of force as quickly as possible before your strength becomes <clears throat> his strength. Give me a sincerity persuasion roll. Okay. Thirty-seven. He's sort of very calmly drinking his tea as you speak. Well, what you say and report certainly would require additional investigation and assistance. That being said, while I can broach this subject to our daimyo, it is not me you have to convince. Oh, of course. Our war advisor, Ide Jun, has been quite adamant that we face threat to the north that is somewhat greater than the threat to the south. Ide san would be the one whose voice must chime in unison with yours to move our daimyo. I look forward to having the opportunity to convince him. Did I say he? I thought I heard he is the person you would need to convince. Yeah, I'm... I thought I said she, but I may have misspoken. Okay. It is she. I look forward to the opportunity so... of convincing her. It is she whom you must convince. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That would be a misspeak on my part. <laughs> um, well, I can arrange a meeting with her. Thank you. If what you say is true, then it certainly would merit reinforcements to the south. Is most appreciated. Please rest here. Have some tea. And he gets up and uh, moves out of the room. Can I make an etiquette roll to see if that last statement meant don't leave this room? Sure. That's a 41. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what that meant. <clears throat> that Have they taken our weapons? Yes. Okay. He meant wait here and here specifically. <laughs> right here, in this room, have some tea. <laughs> this far, no further. <laughs> stay. Sit and stay. <laughs> So, you guys have the room to yourselves, if you wish to speak. Well, he seemed convinced. I, that went there as well as I believe we could have ex expected. I want to know what this war counselor sees to the north if they think it is more dangerous than the Shadowlands. I agree. Yes. While well, that may satisfy one's curiosity... How much bearing does that have on our situation? If it that is significant, depends. that depends on how significant the the, the threat is. It, it also it would be good to know so then we can offer a counter argument. But it could be another packaging problem. Oh. <laughs> Potentially. Let's not pretend that. The fact that there are two, I don't think this is isolated to two. I would not be surprised if all of the clans are dealing with this right now. 
my consideration is simply perhaps that while it is worrisome that the unicorn may be beset on more than one front, it matters rather little what happens here if in a few weeks our valley is overrun. From our perspective, naturally, I do not believe that the unicorn would see the situation in the same light. No, and we must see it in their light to convince them. Of course. Not to mention this much Shadowlands incursion is a matter of all of Rokugan's security. This is the crab's charge. But it is the safety of the entire empire. Do we know what might be to the north here? Uh, give me some Shadowlands lore. Well, I don't have any of that, so I'm probably going to fail. Six. But, you know. Connie doesn't know. Yeah, four. No clue. Ida doesn't know. Ah, I'll give it a shot. Twelve. Ida doesn't know. Twelve. Ahsoka doesn't uh, know. The exact same roll. In the, the actually, the exact order. same roll. Yeah. 814, yeah. 814, yeah. Yeah. Hato and Hisoka have a mind meld. Mm. Uh, is <laughs> he not uh, trying <laughs> to... As you glance over, over Hayato yeah, has three I, fingers stuck on your face. Me, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you don't have Shadowlands lore correct, it would be untrained. Yeah. Inada does not know. There's a thought I can imagine. The, the two of you have a mind meld basically to learn that you both know jack shit. The same yeah. amount of <laughs> You know. The same as you. Nothing. Quite logical. After about another 30 minutes or so, uh, Utaku, uh, name has left <laughs> Utaku Kazuo, uh, returns with, uh, Ide Jun. Uh, Jun is a, uh, Another one of the unicorn that looks very Gaijin. Um, uh, red hair this time. Green eyes. Um, still has Rokugani features, but it's Rokugani features palette swapped with a different, you know, culture entirely. Uh, it's a Japanese Irish. Interesting combination. Yeah. Like Japanese person, Irish colorization. Um,. Sort of long, wavy red hair tied back into a ponytail. Um, wearing heavy battle armor, remnant, you know, reminiscent of the ones that you saw on Mitsuo previously. Um, Does she have freckles? Yes. Okay. So we're going full Irish color palette. <laughs> yes. And she sort of comes in, bows, sits down. Stand up, yes. Hi, sama Thank you for meeting with us. Of course. I'm told you believe the situation in the South is warranting reinforcements being sent from up north. Indeed. And I'm I am going to for the sake of not exactly yeah. repeating what I said, express the same Make another persuasion roll for me. Okay. Or sincerity persuasion. You know so what? Well, actually, I'm gonna honor this shit. Before you do, <laughs> do you ask about the situation to the north first, in oh, case that yes. might change how you present your argument? Yes, actually. Um, with respect, I understand. Yeah, with respect, I understand that you are dealing with a a significant threat to the north, and yeah. if you are at liberty to say, I would like, I. I Confused what that was. Yeah, oh, it is not a secret what lies north of here. The city of the lost has been stirring recently. We think that whatever situation brewing to the south is merely a diversion for whatever activity our scouts have reported to the north. And that removing our troops from there may be disastrous for the clan as a whole. Now that you've heard the term City of the Lost, you can all make me another, uh, make me another, uh, heraldry roll. 
heraldry. Shadowlands lore. Cause Shadowlands, yeah, Shadowlands lore or heraldry. Because this is now heraldry? a proper noun. Fourteen. Uh, it, it'll be lore heraldry. I would like to honor roll this one. Ow. Turf, give me an honor roll. Because this is this is my job is to Seven. know these things. Yeah. Oh, 15. I probably don't know this much yeah. better than I expected. Well, any, of you, any of you that would like to make an honor roll can. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Irene, Irene's pretty stupid. Oh, worth noting, honor rolls explode. Untrained lore. I know don't. they do. Alternatively, you know the what? I will, with my for I will go yeah. ahead since I'm playing on. Alternatively, you could have spent a void point to roll as if you were trained. In the I know skill. I could have. Just putting that out there for everyone. Thirty-two. Okay. So Akane, Hayato, and Hisoka. So he so uh, Hinata, the, the name City of Lost does not mean anything to you. The fifteen. Hayato, you've heard of it. Um, you don't know much about it, but it, it seems to be related to the Spider Clan, which is why you do heard the of do it. the words Spider Clan come into mind at all? Yeah, the, uh, Spider Clan operating out of City of the Lost is definitely a phrase you have heard before. Um, what that means, you don't know, or what that where that is, you didn't know until now. Hinata's just putting together words city and lost with context of Shadowlands, and that's yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. um, Akane and Hisoka. The city of the lost is the crowning achievement of the Shadowlands and of the lost. Um, the Spider Clan founded the city of the lost under the command of Daigatsu, the Dark Lord of the Shadowlands. Uh, it's sort of intentionally a dark reflection of the Empire of Rokugan. Um, basically sort of an experiment to bring order to the chaotic forces of the Lost within the Shadowlands. And under Daigatsu's tutelage, uh, they've basically decided to work together and build this city um, as sort of a staging ground against Rokugan. It lies on the northern border of Rokugan, um, well, well north of the Wall. Um, it was built basically largely using the unholy power of Maho um, and the physical power of creatures like Oni, Ogres, and Trolls. And it, as a city, it rivals the largest cities of the Empire in sheer size with all manner of training grounds in it. There have been various scouting uh, parties sent to it and the Unicorn and the, the Unicorn and the Dragon Although the very far reaches of the dragon, this is opposite side of Dragon Clan territory from the valley, um, are the two primary forces that defend, uh, that protect against it. Um, it is, while it is a staging point, it often is inactive for very long periods of time. Because the Shadowlands creatures do not necessarily travel directly out from the city. Also, it is the only bastion of its kind. It is the only sort of civilization of the Shadowlands that exists. Um, as such, it's it's seen quite often as a, as a curiosity, um, and always as a threat. And so if it is moving, or if there are signs of movement from it, that very well may coincide with the sudden rise of Akujin on, in two separate locations. Whether or not that is enough to warrant, uh, you know, no reinforcements from the north is separate entirely. But the indication to you thus far, as of right now, is that they are not reinforcing to the south because of the threat that the City of the Lost poses currently. Thinking that it's a diversion. <clears throat> I mean, that's a really good point. <laughs> hey, it's almost like Nata brought that up as the possible reason earlier. Yeah. Because I was... Yeah. 
It's almost like people don't make arbitrary decisions in, in, in leadership. <laughs> um, John, tell me if this is socially inappropriate. Um, Hinata would like to sort of whisper something to Hisoka. Um, no, that's fine. You're, you're, you're there theoretically as Hisoka's advisor. Um, though, it, 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 you know, because you, you're one of the people that aren't 100% sure, it also wouldn't be inappropriate for you to ask questions if you wanted to. It's, it's less of a question and more a thing she wants to... Mm. She'll just say it privately to Hisoka. Yeah, um, that's fine. Uh, just as a reminder, we do know that at least the Akujin in our land seems interested in claiming and expanding territory. The risk of, well, I'm not quite familiar with the specifics of this Shadowland incursion, the risk of um, it's, the unicorn becoming more surrounded <coughs> it is a significant danger if cities to the south fall and the Yakujins share similar goals. Yes. And she'll pull back. I certainly I certainly understand um I just don't know where there is significant concern about uh uh moto akajin being a being a diversion um i think that is worth offering as a counterpoint the fact that uh, your akujin is not the only one We have had one. We have had one appear in our lands as well. And while I have not had the opportunity to to look into other clans' information, it would not be surprising that they are dealing with the. They could be dealing with the same situation. And my question to you would be. If we are if we are dealing with two potential um, threats coming from multiple potential directions, which is the which is the more likely diversionary tactic? Would it be something as prominent and feared as the lost city, or would? Would the 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 would it be something as 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 known, feared, and prominent as the lost city, or would it be isolated attacks on individual clans in their territories that are less likely to be communicated across to each other? I think it is equally likely, with respect. Um, obviously, you know this is what you do. This is your this is your area of expertise. But with respect, assuming that you did not have this information about other other uh, Akujin, um, I feel like it is equally likely. That the lost city is the, that activity in the lost city is the is the diversionary tactic as Akujin go to claim territory and take slices out of all of our lands. Just so I understand, as a player, Hisoka is saying that. Hisoka is saying that the lost city. They're trying to keep your eyes on. Back. They're trying yeah. to keep everybody's eyes on the lost city so that they can establish. While these little elsewhere. individual groups yeah. mm -hmm, start mm -hmm. fucking around. Yeah. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Give me a sincerity persuasion roll. Uh, 
Okay. They're on a high roll. There may be an honor roll coming. I mean, the TN might be lower in, on this one because you've made a very good argument. Uh, 21. Would you, like, would you like to honor roll? Yeah, I'm going to honor roll that shit. Okay. Uh, roll 7010. Not 71D0. Yeah, I'm pretty bang, sure that bang. gets That would be not a good roll. 33. Uh, Ine Jun sort of sits quietly, sipping tea, thinking, putting together the pieces. You are you are confident from the look on her face that the Akujin in your territory is new information, which does provide a different perspective. Mm-hmm. Do you know of any other activities such as this in other locations throughout the kingdoms? We have not. You were honestly the first people that you were the first uh, uh, a clan whose territory we have traveled to. Therefore, you were the first opportunity to find out more. Um, That's technically a lie. Is it? it? We we visited the crane. You visited the crane. (laughs) Just Uh, last week. Literally last week. I was un okay. I I was misunderstanding. You, you stopped in a crane port. Yeah. I was misunderstanding territory. Uh-huh. Then, um, I imagine you can rephrase it so that that's what you're saying. That, yeah. yeah, out of necessity, rephrase that because yeah, I yeah, would yeah. not be able to say such a thing. Yeah, no, that's right. that's why I that's <laughs> why I pointed it out because I was confused. <laughs> We have only, we only very briefly passed <clears throat> through through crane territory previously, and did not. We were at the understanding at the time that we were dealing with an isolated event. It was not until we learned about Moto Akujin that things suddenly became much clearer. So we did not have the information to ask the right questions. Fair enough. If what you say is true and these Akujin are working in unison to pull territory away from other clans by force in our case and by whatever means yours is employing. Then it may very well be the activity to the north is a diversion. In that case, it would be wise to argue that reinforcements be sent south to assist Shinooka. We may also send a word to your clan, our allies in the northwest or northeast, to let them know of the same information. Mm-hmm. But they will also be on guard. That would be fantastic. Very well. I will speak to our daimyo and arrange. What I can. Thank, Thank you, you for your information. Of course. It is appreciated. Thank you for, for, for hearing us out. And as Ide Jun steps up and moves out of the room, and the group of you are left to your own realizations, uh, that's where we're going to end for the week. So, say goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Goodbye.